everyone. So I'm posting this video because I wanted to show you how you can log on to our kindergarten classroom site that we made. Um, there's a couple avenues to do it and then I wanted to show you one resource that I really think can help you guys out quite a bit. Um, your students will know what it is because I use it in my classroom all the time and they'll even ask you, hey, can we take the quiz? Can we take the quiz? So I'm going to show you all that. Um, step one, how do I get there? So I'm going to show you the website and how we get on, okay? So this is the Clearview homepage and what you will do is you will look for um, your the school. So we need to go to Vincent Elementary School on the side. And then when that loads up, it will take you here. And so you would want to go to the um, staff pages, and that way it'll show you, um, you know, where you can link to. So you obviously want to go to kindergarten, and you can actually click on to mine, and I have it edited. Um, so you're welcome to kindergarten. Um, you've got the pages over here on the side, so you'll click on mine. And you'll see my lovely picture on there, um, a bio, um, the stuff that we worked on on Monday, um, links to my Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'll have a link onto my YouTube on there pretty soon. Um, and when it goes to Mr. Holland's online learning site, if you click on that, it will take you to this. And it's um, the kindergarten pages that um, all the kindergarten teachers are using right now um, because all of the resources that we use are the same and we share so um, this is where it'll take you um, you can read what you want there's daily plans that kind of show you um, like a schedule of like what you can do during the day um, to mimic what we do um, there's a daily student learning schedule and there's just some activities on there some ideas to um, give you a picture of hey um, we can work on this right now we can do this later um, and then you know the home learning schedule but the resources that I wanted to show you um, right now are kind of up here in these links for reading math science social studies um, there's a fun learning sites page educational videos page uh, read aloud sites and then there's um, where the special teachers can post their stuff um, so I'm going to show you um, for reading there's a lot of stuff on here, and I don't want you to get overwhelmed because there's a lot of stuff to get into. There's a lot of things to log into, but I wanted to show you one, and there's one of these on um, almost every page, and it's called Brain Pop Junior. It's at the bottom. If you click on it, it will take you to the Brain Pop Junior website, and I actually have it linked to the category that it's in because there's more. And if you wanted more, you can go to Brain Pop Junior, click on this icon, and it will take you back. Um, but if you click on any one of these things, um, it will take you to something that you can work on, so, uh, such as like playing with words, um, doing phonics, writing, that kind of stuff. And um, each one has a video, and then after you watch the video, you can take a quiz. And the kids love to do this because there's five questions, and they want to see if they can get them all right. Um, and, but they have to pay attention to do that. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, how do I log in? Well, because of all the coronavirus stuff going on right now, it actually has a link, and it says, we're here to help in the event of school closure, request free access. So if you click on that, you can actually sign up um, – and get free family access. Now, I actually did this um, to test to see if it would work, and it did. So it just provides this information. It says your first name, last name, email, um, a username that you would like, a password, your country, and then I'll select Ohio, and then uh, phone number. Do all this, and it will give you access for um, 30 days, but it also says that because of the pandemic, it will let you have access for as long as the schools are closed. I think that's pretty awesome, and I love this resource because, um, like I said, if – let me get out of this. Um, if you click on Brain Pop Jr. and um, you go back to this page, it shows you all of the stuff that you have access to um, when it finally decides to load. And I have it all linked, so anytime you go on our class sites um, and you go to one of the pages, it will have a link. So on the science page, it will link to this um, on the social studies page, it will link to this. And so there are so many topics that you can cover. Um, I find myself using it almost every day or every other day because there's that many videos and there's um, that many resources for it. And it's just to kind of support what we do. So many of the things that we teach them 
are on here, but they teach it in like a way that kind of supports what we do. So I just wanted to show you that um, if you can get to this page and you can um, get to these videos, um, even if that's one of the only things that you can manage on here, I think it's worth it because there's that much material on here uh, that can help you and help your child. Like I said, for my class, I use this all the time. So kids know that we're watching um, Annie and Moby and we're paying attention to what they're saying. And then afterwards, there's an easy quiz. There's even a hard quiz on there. And they love taking the quiz because it gives them a chance to... Um, listen to the answers and they go, no, that's not the right answer. Um, and the one thing about this site is that, um, at the top, you'll see where it says sound on, it reads, um, any of the questions to you. So if, um, if they don't know how to read it, you can hover your mouse over the um, text and it will read the question and the same thing with the answers it will read what the answer says to them so that uh, not only are they practicing the reading but they're trying to comprehend they're listening no that's not the right answer mm, I, that might be the right answer but let's listen through the other ones and see which one's right if this is one of the only things that you get to, I think it's worth it. I'm going to be posting more videos and showing you how to get to the other resources. Um, but for right now, um, this is a great start in my belief. And um, yeah, so um, like I said, I'm going to uh, link the class site to Class Dojo so you can get onto it. And I'm going to start um, linking these YouTube videos um, to the site as well. So instead of posting videos on there and overwhelming you guys, I'm just, I made a YouTube channel. I'm going to link to it. Um, if you get on there, you can subscribe to it. So that way you can always go back and forth to it to find the videos. Um, but until then, um, have a great morning. Stay safe, guys. Wash your hands.